Hey guys, welcome to Engineering Academy. In this video, I'll be talking about how the reinforcement of an isolated footing is detailed and is uh, placed at the site. All right, so here I got a, a, a typical plan of an isolated footing, and uh, as you can see, uh, this is the length and this is the breadth of the footing, and uh, the reinforcement that is placed along the length is termed here as a STL, and the reinforcement that is placed along the breadth is termed as a STB. All right, so this is the column, and uh, if we cut the section at the middle, we're gonna see uh, a structure uh, like this, all right? So there is uh, 150 mm uh, stone soling, and after that comes 75 mm PCC, and here we got our isolated footing. All right, so this is uh, DE, that is uh, depth at the edge, and this is D, overall depth from here up to here. As you can see here, uh, a reinforcement is placed at the bottom, so this is the main reinforcement, and and then comes the reinforcement that is placed at the top, which is the distribution reinforcement. All right. Okay, so uh, this is the column, and uh, distance from this uh, top up to uh, this point is the developmental length. All right. So this length uh, must be 300 uh, minimum. All right. So this is the plan and the section, and uh, let me show you a typical uh, foundation plan. All right. So Okay, so this is a foundation plan of uh, a building, and uh, so here is F2, then F2, F2, F3, and F4, and we got uh, different kind of footings here. And uh, suppose that uh, you are constructing uh, this footing, all right? So this F1 footing. So what you what you need to do is so you have to go to uh, foundation detail and locate your F1 footing. So here we got F1 footing, and its length is 1850 mm, and breadth is same. And overall depth is uh, 400 mm, and depth at the edge is 200 mm, and you can see the reinforcement here. So ASTL that is along length is 12 phi 150 center to center. So this reinforcement must be uh, 12 phi diameter bars, one placed 150 mm center to center up to here, right? Same goes for ASTB. So that is 12 phi at the rate 150 center to center. So this bar must be placed like a mess here at. To 150 center to center just like this all right so now we will see at the site how this reinforcement is placed all right so as you can see uh, there is a typical footing reinforcement uh, right in front of me the reinforcement uh, runs in both the directions uh, along length as well as along uh, breadth and forms a mess like structure which is placed on the 75 mm pcc as you can see, the ends of the bars have been bent. The rule for bending uh, the ends of the bar is that it must go up to uh, DE, that is up to the point where uh, this slope uh, begins. All right, so after placing the reinforcement of the isolated footing, the reinforcement of the column is erected. All right, so for that purpose, the center line of the footing is marked, and after that, uh, a stirrup is placed such that the center line of that footing coincides with the center line of the column. Okay, so after placing the stirrup, the reinforcement are erected, uh, and finally the erected reinforcements are also tied with the help of stirrups. All right, guys, uh, this much for uh, this video. Uh, hope this was helpful. And if you have got any query or you know any suggestion for our channel, you can just uh, leave a comment uh, right below. Okay, thank you for watching. Take care.